Hi, I'm Miss Mahal, your art teacher. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna talk about sketching. We're gonna sketch a birch tree. So let me grab a picture of a birch tree. It looks like this. A birch tree is a winter tree. It's mainly white and it's skinny and very tall in colder climates and has little skinny branches, not that many, but just a few. We're gonna draw the horizon line, which is the ground where the sky meets the ground. We're gonna leave the ground white. We're gonna draw two parallel lines that go straight up close together for the trees, like a rectangle. Um, it doesn't matter how you close in the top, make sure the bottom is curvy. And then the birch tree has texture and scrapes. And remember it's white. So we're gonna just show some value shading. And then you can color the, the sky cool colors like green, blue, and purple for nighttime sky, um, or paint it, or you can do a sunset, which is red, orange, and yellow. Let's try it. So I am going to be sketching with my pencil. So grab you a white paper and grab you a pencil with a low lead. All right, so here we go, guys. So the first thing you want to do is you want to sketch your horizon line, which is your ground. And then you're going to put three trees, birch trees. So remember, they are skinny and they're tall. So I'm going to sketch two lines together. Curve it at the bottom. Maybe make it a little bit taller. Close it in. All right. This one I might make a little bit taller. Close it in. Make this one maybe shorter. So make them different heights. Remember we're sketching today. So I would like to see how you sketch. It's not gonna be the neatest. Sketching the searching lines. All right, you can erase the line that goes through it. So, you can make sure the trees are overlapping. All right. So, now I would like you to do a skinny branch. Two slanted lines. Close it in like a slanted rectangle. I'm just going to do one per tree. You can make them bigger later if you want. All right. The next step, you're going to do a curvy line. On both sides, a sideways horizontal curvy line. These are gonna start the texture and the scrapes on the tree. We want to show everybody that this tree is round like a cylinder. It's three-dimensional. How do you make something look three-dimensional on a flat 2D paper? You add lines to show the direction of the object. So I'm adding curvy lines on both sides. But this tree is mainly white, all right? So the next thing I would like you guys to do, actually have some drawings on this side, is do a value scale. The value scale goes from dark to medium to light. So I want you to color really, really dark. That's why you need a low lead. Don't get a, a sharp pointy one. So color, I'm coloring it up and down. Some people like to go sideways. Press really hard and dark, color dark. Then I want you to loosen your grip, a value, Scale means going from dark to medium to light, or light to medium to dark. All right, so. All right, so I'm coloring dark, now I'm gonna loosen up my grip. I'm gonna get medium. So now this is a little bit lighter. Then I get a little bit lighter on my pressure. I want it to fade to light. Get lighter, get lighter, get lighter. All right, there is my value scale. Let's add a value scale on both sides of the tree. So I'm gonna start right here. Dark, loosen up my grip, medium. I don't want it to go far and then light. Now I want you to go down, jump down so you're skipping a space and go on the other side, dark, medium, and then light. Now go on the other side, dark, medium, Go down, go on the other side, dark, medium, 
and like go down go down and now I'm, I'm back on the left side again because we don't want to cover the whole tree this is a birch tree and it's mainly white and it has scrapes we want to make sure everybody knows it's realistic and it's three-dimensional it's round okay I'm starting on the right side at the bottom dark medium light so I'm gonna go up and jump over to the left side now dark medium light so I'm gonna go back to the right side but jump up dark medium and light jump up and go to the other side so you're gonna keep jumping up and going to the opposite side okay we don't want to color in the whole tree I do want to see your value scale if you're submitting your artwork and you're my student I want to see you go from dark loosen up your grip make it fade medium and then light and I'm gonna jump up to the top dark medium and then light don't forget to do a value scale on your branches too dark medium light so with the value scales it shows where the light source is coming from so if there's a light on one side of you then you're gonna be brighter on one side and darker on the other side also shows where the shadows are the famous artist for today is an artist that's an old lady her name is grandma moses and grandma moses like to draw winter landscapes and because we're in december in the winter season it's colder outside the trees are losing their leaves and some of the trees are bare some of the trees stay green all year long those are the evergreen winter um trees uh pine trees people cut them down use them for christmas trees but this tree doesn't have a lot of leaves it probably loses some but it stays mostly white and it has these scrape marks on both sides all right now i want you to pick a side for the shadow all right every tree has to have the same direction of a shadow i'm going to pick the right side so i'm going to make a slanted line i'm going to shade the slanted lines going slanted to the right on each tree that means that the light must be hitting it on the left side if you want your shadow going to the left, all the trees need to have the shadow going in the same direction. All right, now you can make some snowballs, snowflakes, I mean, snow falling. Remember your ground is gonna be white. And then you can even paint or, Losing my little blue crayon. Okay, I found it. Sorry. Now it's your time to either paint the background. Now this picture can be done done a number of ways because this picture we taped, we put tape on here and we painted over it and pulled the tape off for the tree. But this picture we are doing all the drawing ourselves because you guys are that good. I'm gonna shade going side to side horizontal. You can shade around an area to make it look like it's some snow, or you can draw the snow on there like I did. You can make your picture different colors like sunsets or nighttime sky or even a daytime sky. You're in charge of that creativity. I would like you guys to be the ones to create it and make it your style. You can put a red cardinal. You can put a moon or a sun or a winter animal below or a gate. You can get creative with the birch tree. What belongs in a winter landscape? What animals are out? An animal with thick fur, right? maybe an owl. I'm gonna stop right here. Here's your project. Uh -oh. Here's your project right here. So we did the winter birch tree. I'm Ms. Mario, your art teacher. Have fun. Bye.